Hey, what's going on everyone? If you've been watching my videos, you know that I'm currently on the routine 531. So these next few videos, I'm going to go over my progress on 531 and show you where I started and where I am now on all four of the lifts. But before I do that, I just want to give a quick breakdown of 531 and how I'm running it, just so this makes a little bit more sense. So for those of you who don't know, 531 is a strength-based program. You train four days per week, and each day is centered around one of the big four lifts. So you have a workout for squats, and then you have one for bench, deadlifts, and overhead press. So in the beginning of the program, you do need to figure out your actual one rep max. And then once you do that, each workout is based on a certain percentage of that one rep max. For example, week one, the way it goes, it's 65% on your first set for five reps, followed by 75% for five reps, and then you do 85%. But that third set, it's an AMRAP set where you do as many reps as possible. And your third set on every week, no matter which percentage you're doing, it's an AMRAP set. And the whole premise of 531 is on that AMRAP set, your goal is to set a new personal best. So the reason that I chose 531 is because one of my goals is to gain strength. However, I also do want to stay as lean as possible. And 531 allows me to train for strength, but it also allows me to fit in bodybuilding exercises afterwards as my accessory movements. So I get to focus on strength in the beginning of my workout, and then once I get that lift out of the way, I get to focus on the hypertrophy. So the layout really works out well for me. So now I'm gonna get into the progress that I made on the squat. When I began the program, I was tracking everything in this book for 37 weeks. Eventually, I ran out of room, and I moved on to this book, which I'm using now. On week one, my one rep max on May 2nd, 2015, was 325 pounds. On my AMRAP set, I did 250 pounds for 10 reps. I'm going to turn to a random page in this book just so we can compare the progress that I made on a random week throughout the program. And here I turn to week 28, which was 28 weeks into the program, and I did 315 pounds on my AMRAP set and got nine reps. So let's just compare that quickly. The first week I got 250 for 10, and week 28, I got 315 for nine. So basically the same amount of reps with 65 more pounds about 28 weeks into the program. However, I did reach a point where my strength wasn't increasing as much as I would like. I was feeling a little fatigued. And what I did at that point, I decided to retest my one rep maxes, reset the weights, and I also started incorporating new techniques from Jim Wendler's program Beyond 531, which is still 531, but he added some new tricks and tips that you could use in order to make the program a little bit more interesting. Two of the things that I took from his Beyond 531 are called Joker Sets and First Set Lasts. What a Joker Set is, is after your AMRAP set, what you do is you increase the weight another 5% from your top set, and you do the prescribed reps for the week. For example, on week one, 85% is your top set. Let's say I got seven reps on the AMRAP set. I would then bump it up 5% to 90% of my max, and I would do five reps. Not as many as he could do, just five reps. After that, I do the first set last, which is where I go back to the first set that I did of that day, but rather than do the prescribed reps of the week, I do as many as I can do. So again, for example, on week one, 65% is set one. However, I don't do the five, I do as many as I can do. So it's two AMRAP sets rather than one. Now when I did retest my max, my max on squats was 375 pounds about 37 weeks into the program. So after 37 weeks, my max went from 325 to 375, which I was very satisfied with, but my one rep max didn't increase nearly as much as my volume strength increased. And let me kind of show you what I mean by that. So like I said before, I did 250 for 10, and then I did 315 for nine. So that's pretty much the same reps, but it's 65 pounds more. Another example, here on week 25, I did 325 pounds for seven reps. Now remember what I said, my one rep max was 325 pounds when I began the program. So 25 weeks in, I was able to take my one rep max and do that seven times, which I would say is pretty substantial. So to sum up, my squat did go up about 50 pounds when you look at the one rep max. But like I said, the amount of reps that I could do with more weight increased a lot more than my actual one rep max did partly because I don't really test my one rep max, whereas I do reps every single workout. Now we're gonna move on to the most current workout that you're about to see in just a minute. And the top set that I do is 330 pounds. And what I end up getting on that, you'll see, is eight reps. 
So the 325 for seven I did on week 25, and now on week 44, I did 330 for eight. So as you can see, I did make progress between weeks 25 and now, but the progress wasn't as fast as it was from when I began the program to about midway through. Now obviously, I would have preferred my squat to increase at the rate it had been for the first 25 weeks, but that's not a realistic expectation. So as long as I'm setting PRs almost every workout, which I am, that's what I'm going for. So what you're about to see now is my most current squat workout, which is week 44 on 531. Welcome to the workout. I hope that intro helped explain why I'm on 531 and just shows how effective it has been for me. Um, here is my first set. I'm currently on week six where I'm doing 75%, 85%, 95%. So what you're watching here is the first set of 260 for five reps. After that, I do jump up to 295 pounds where my goal is just to hit three reps before I'm going to do my AMRAP set. Now, as you see, my one rep max has improved from 325 pounds when I started the program to where it currently is about 375. However, I do think it's higher than 375. Um, so 5 3 one's a great routine if you really want to increase your strength. The initial half of the program, my strength definitely went up a lot faster than it has been, but the strength gains have still been steady, and that's all I can really hope for. No one's going to improve their squat 200 pounds in a year, so the improvements that I've made over 50 pounds in less than a year, I am satisfied with that. And here, even though I've never done 330 pounds before, I got 8 reps with that. And when you compare it to what I've done in the past, which was 325 for 7, I've also, I believe, done 335 for 6. I am definitely satisfied with that as well. After this set of 8, I did do the Joker set, which I explained. However, this week I only had to do one rep, so that's just 345, which is technically what my max is set for right now. And I just did the one rep. After that... I really like this first set last because it's just a good way to finish off the legs and get a really nice pump in there. I just put the 260 back on the bar which is 75% and I do as many as I could possibly do. And here you're going to see I got 13 reps. So that's the workout guys. I hope you enjoy watching these videos and seeing where my strength has progressed from. I'm going to be doing this on my next three workouts as well showing where my bench, deadlift and overhead press came from. If you like the video, please do me a favor and actually like the video. It really does help me get feedback on the videos. Leave a comment if you have any questions or any feedback you'd like to give me. And also, do me a favor and subscribe to the channel. And we'll be seeing you guys in the next video.